Hey guys, if you haven't been following the updates closely, you may not have realized we've added a major feature that can expand Blackout's capabilities tenfold, and that is MIDI over network. When we first introduced MIDI, it was just an extension of the console via Bluetooth or USB. But with the addition of allowing MIDI over network, you can now trigger the console from any device that can send MIDI, as long as you are both on the same network. So what are some things you can do? First off, you can create a remote to blackout. Here, I have a few buttons made using TouchOSC, and I can trigger any button I want in Blackout because my iPhone is on the same Wi-Fi network as my iPad. Here's how it works. First, download TouchOSC for your device. If you've never used this app before, it's seriously the best, but you may not even know how to get started because the interface can be a little bit overwhelming at first. Fortunately, they have a ton of example projects which can get you going in seconds. Tap the three bars icon in the top right and then the little dictionary icon and choose an example layout such as the first one. Now, if you tap the chain icon, you might have to scroll a little bit to see it. This is where we are telling TouchOSC to send MIDI and we are going to send this to the network session. Now press done. At the top of the toolbar, you'll see the play button. When you press play, you are essentially in the little app you created. So now when you press buttons, it sends MIDI. I'm just gonna navigate to the pads tab to get more buttons. And now in blackout, I simply go to link status, connect MIDI device, and look for my iPhone's network. Not the Bluetooth symbol, but the network symbol. Now tap MIDI learn, hit a button in blackout that you want to map, and tap the corresponding button on your iPhone. Pretty wild, right? You can do the same thing on a PC or Mac. The one thing you have to do on a Mac is search for the audio MIDI setup. If you tap the world or Bluetooth icon in the top right of the panel, you get to a MIDI network setup screen. Now, create a session and name it. If you name it in the bonjour section, that's what will show up as the name when you connect to it from Blackout. You shouldn't need to touch anything else here. Now go to touch OSC and we are going to do the same thing as we did on the iPhone. Tap the chain icon and make sure you are sending and receiving on the session that you just created. If you want to load up an example file in here, go to help examples and load up one of your choosing. Then press play and now you can send MIDI via network from your Mac to Blackout wirelessly or wired as long as they're on the same network. So that's cool and all. And there are a ton of use cases for being able to trigger Blackout remotely. But where this really elevates to the next level is with programs such as QLab, Logic Pro, or one that Jason Clary led me onto called Vezer. I'm gonna show you how you can time code a song using Vezer and Blackout. The best workflow I've found is to connect my physical MIDI board directly into my laptop because I can easily play along with the song, record the actions in Vezer, and have it play back with minimal MIDI routing to my iPad. So to do that, the first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, is map all of the buttons on your MIDI device or virtual MIDI device, like what I just showed you using Touch OSC, to blackout in whatever configuration you want. Once I've mapped out my device, I'm going to connect it up to my laptop directly go into that MIDI network setup screen again, but this time I'm going to use the routing section where I'm going to route all of my X-Touch compact traffic going into the computer to the network session. This is how we will input MIDI into the network for both the laptop as well as the iPad to pick up. Now, go into settings in Vezer and make sure that you have enabled input from your MIDI device or network, which I think it does by default, but wherever you're sending MIDI to, make sure that's enabled. Simply drag the song of your choice into the track section and right click the waveform to expand comp to audio length. Otherwise you'll be stuck to a 10 second timeline. Now press record and get ready to play back your show. If I hit play now, I can hit different MIDI buttons or move faders and this is all being recorded in real time by Vezer. Now, very important, press stop recording when you are done so that you don't overwrite what you just did when you press play again 
to test your sequences. The simplest way I found to play back is to just go back into MIDI network setup and switch the routing from the X-Touch Compact to Vezer's Virtual MIDI Out 1 so that it's routing the MIDI Out 1 to the network. This way, when you play back the song, it outputs to the network which your iPad is connected to. Throw Capture in the mix and you've got yourself a time-coded light show. If you find a workflow hack or a better way to do something, please share that in the comments below. This is about to get wild because we have something very special we're about to announce. Hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.